Love this view. These are the 33 Raptor engines at the base of the super heavy booster. I think we can see those wiggles now. We're currently inside 90 seconds. Next major activity, T minus 40 seconds. That is a gate, a decision point. We're waiting possibility the propulsion team may need a few minutes. Flight termination system is armed for flight. We're getting ready for T minus one minute and counting. Next, we'll see as we get past T-minus 40 seconds for final checks of the vehicle. Okay, you can see the clock has recycled. Flight director has called a hold. We are recycling. For the moment, we'll see where they move the clock back to. They could hold at T minus 40 seconds. They could go to an earlier point. Give us a minute to listen into the nets and we'll see if we can get you more information to share. John Innsbrucker again here at the Hawthorne webcast desk. We're holding a T minus 40 seconds. What we've heard so far is we have a couple of issues we're working. One is the booster tank pressurization. Uh, final pressurization was just a little bit uh, long. That's not unusual. We've held a T minus 40 seconds before to pressurize. That appears to have been resolved. At the same time on the second stage, they're working some final purging. Uh, we should know very shortly if that is cleared and if we'll continue the countdown. Everyone, especially that person, is excited <laughs> to keep going. <laughs> like John said, we should know shortly um, if we are able to continue. Uh, but as we mentioned before, we are able to hold uh, up to 15 minutes and still be able to lift off today. Yeah, on Falcon 9, it's a little bit different. Once we start propellant loading, we pretty much have to go at the targeted time. Otherwise, the propellants can warm up and we may not have the performance for that particular uh, mission profile. It's a little bit different on and Starship. Folks, if I can interrupt, yeah. it looks like they're clearing all the flags. 
and we're going to release at T minus 40 seconds. That is amazing news. Amazing. <laughs> Team working quickly through their issues on first and second stages. And I'm sure all of the rehearsals uh, and simulations that they've been doing have prepared them to evaluate this data quickly to try to get us in for today's launch attempt. For those of you just joining, we have a brief hold um, at the T minus 40 second mark. Uh, the team is resolving one issue with the bleed purge on the stage two Raptors. Um, like John just said, the teams are quickly working that and it looks like the flags are being cleared as we speak. So we should be able to resume the launch countdown any moment now. And it's worth noting on Starship that once we resume the countdown, it restarts from the 40 second period and then we keep exactly. going unless another condition pops up. So stick around because <laughs> uh, Starship could be going here real soon. <laughs> Don't walk away, that's for sure. <laughs> Amazing views here coming to us from Starbase, Texas. Uh, Aerodynamic pressure. And as the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing, lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out, Max Q now. Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be Our shut down of the first stage. Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With shutdown, we will get separation of Starship from Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. If all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. View from Starship. And there's views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now, after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation.
as of right now, we are awaiting stage separation where Starship should separate from the Super Heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. and the Starship vehicle. Live view there of our control center at Starbase, uh, which we refer to as Star Command. <laughs> as we said before, obviously we wanted to make it all the way through, <laughs> but to get this far,